morning. I'm Staff Sergeant Larson with the 807th Medical Command, G8. We'll be going over the Government Travel Charge Card and Defense Travel System Database Scrub. This training is intended for organizational defense travel administrators and travel card managers. On today's agenda, we'll be covering the purpose of the scrub, why we do a database scrub, the standard battle rhythm General Bugno wants for the 807th Organizational Defense Travel Administrators and the Government Travel Charge Card holders. The three different reports that go into the database scrub, the Basic Traveler Info Report from DTS, the Account Information Report from DTS, the IBA Account Listing with email from Citibank, and finally updating the Defense Travel System Personnel Database. Next slide. The purpose of the database scrub is to reduce the number of delinquent government travel charge cards and unsubmitted vouchers, reduce the misuse of centrally billed accounts, to maintain the security of the DTS itineraries, to ensure soldiers are paid for travel, and to ensure the appropriate lines of accounting are used. Next slide. Why are we implementing this defense travel system and government travel card scrub? This scrub, when completed routinely, will one reduce the number of airline tickets that are not paid for because of expired or inactive government travel card. Two, correct improper split disbursements that arise from government travel card information not being uploaded into DTS. Three, reduce the number of travelers that are not reimbursed after the completion of a voucher because their electronic funds transfer information is missing. Four, eliminate individually and centrally billed account mismatches because of improper government travel card coding. Five, optimize the detaching process when soldiers are no longer in the unit. Six, replace invalid email addresses with correct military email addresses, ensuring soldiers are receiving DTS generated emails. Seven, remove default lines of accounting. Eight, verify correct routing lists for traveler. And nine, Ensure travelers without a government travel card can obtain an advance. Next slide. The DTS government travel card battle rhythm was specifically requested by General Bugno to be implemented throughout the 807th Medical Command. On the first workday of every month, the ODTA will take the following action. Verify the basic traveler information report from DTS. Update the DTS profile to match the government travel card data. Ensure all profiles are properly configured for electronic fund transfer and government travel card split disbursements. Receive new soldiers into the unit's DTS organization through the self-registration feature. Detach soldiers no longer assigned to the unit and prepare a database scrub action list for distribution to the unit commanders and first sergeants. On the days prior to battle assembly, the ODTA will send the unsubmitted voucher report, the government travel card delinquency report, and the activity report to the commander and the first sergeant. During battle assembly, command direction must be provided to those with unsubmitted vouchers. Non-DTS entry agents will be present for assistance for closing out the documents. Cardholders with delinquent government travel card accounts over 30 days must then be counseled. Counseling forms are then filed on, in the cardholder's records and provided to the battalion and brigade for filing and included in the monthly tasker. The 807th Financial Management Regulation, the 37-1, has examples of pre-approved counseling forms for your use. After battle assembly, responses to the GA taskers are uploaded and an update of company statistics are sent to the battalion. Throughout the month, the Organization Defense Travel Administrators, the ODTAs, is expected to work with the non-DTS entry agents, the NDEAs, to resolve individual issues identified. The ODTA provides updates on GTCC delinquencies and unsubmitted voucher reports. And finally, to process the, for administrative closure and reconciliation of the unsubmitted vouchers greater than 90 days. Next slide. The ODTA, in conjunction with the Government Travel Card Manager, can run reports and gather the necessary information to successfully update the soldier's DTS profile. The Basic Traveler Information Report is used to verify DTS permissions, correct default routing lists, 
and correct email addresses. The Accounts Information Report is used to verify GTCC holder status, account number, expiration date, and bank account information. The IBA account listing with email is used to verify Citibank GTCC information. Next slide. The primary duty of the ODTA is to perform a database scrub on the first day of the month. The database scrub requires the use of two reports from the DTS maintenance tool the basic traveler info report, and the account information report. Then use one report from the Citibank system, which is the individually billed account listing with email report. These three reports allow the ODTA to identify DTS issues that require action by their unit. Next slide. To obtain the basic traveler info report and account information report, start by logging into DTS. Go to the administrative tab and go down to the DTA maintenance tool. Next slide. In the DTA Maintenance tool, click DTA Maintenance Home drop-down menu and select People. When in the People tab, select View Person List. Next slide. From the Select Report drop-down menu, you have two different reports that you need to run. One, the Basic Traveler Info Report, and two, the Account Information Report. Be sure to check this Include Suborganization box on both of these reports. Next slide. The first report we will discuss is the Basic Traveler Info Report. Next slide. The Basic Traveler Info Report shows the following information for each traveler. Permission level, organization access, group access, default routing lists, default LOA, and the traveler's email address. Next slide. When reviewing this report, you are reviewing the following DTS profile entries for each soldier. Is the correct email address listed? either an AKO or enterprise email. This is important because system generated emails go to the accounts listed. Ensure the default LOA is blank. If an LOA shows in the DTS profile, remove it. Verify that the correct default routing list is assigned to the profile. This field determines where the DTS document routes for approval. ODTAs should know the correct routing list that applies to their unit. See your approving official if you're unsure. Next slide. To find any emails that do not belong, turn on Excel's built-in filter. Left click on the Traveler email field. Go to Text Filters and then select Does Not Contain from the different choices. Enter .mil to filter out military emails. Now you see all the invalid email addresses. Next slide. The second DTS report we're going to cover is the Account Information Report. Next slide. The Accounts Information Report shows the government travel charge card data and personal bank account information that is loaded on a soldier's DTS profile. This report is also compared to the IBA account listings with email addresses. Next slide. The step-by-step -step process to scrub the Accounts Info Report are 1. Ensure all travelers in your organization have a travel card. Two, For travelers that have a travel card, ensure that it is not expired or within three months of expiration. Three, ensure the mandatory EFT portion of the profile is configured correctly. If there is no EFT on file for the soldier, contact the G8 office, as they are the only administrators that can update EFT information. Next slide. There are several filters to run against the account information report. First, identify travel cards that expire within the next three months. Second, Identify individuals that have zero information for their travel card or bank account. Third, identify configuration issues that cause individually and centrally build account problems. Fourth, identify configuration issues that cause EFT problems. Next slide. Update DTS profile to match travel card Citibank data. If the travel card is expired or expires in three months, the ODTA works with the card manager to update the travel card expiration date. Verify if the card was reissued and there is a new expiration date. This is done by consulting the travel card manager who reviews Citibank reports. Verify if the card was closed and should be removed from the profile. This is done by consulting the travel card manager who reviews Citibank reports. If the travel card information is blank, verify if the traveler is required to apply for a travel card. 
check with the card manager to see if the soldier has a travel card that wasn't loaded to the profile. Review the mandatory use of the travel card field for selection, as this drives individually and centrally build account usage when billing flights in DTS. You can filter the account information report to quickly identify the accounts that are blank and have expired or near expiration dates. Next slide. Using the account information report, filter for expired and blank travel cards. To filter for blank travel cards, go to the advanced authorization column to show only card holders and blank. To filter for expired travel cards, filter the expiration date column to show only expired dates. Next slide. The filtered list for the travel cards that are expired should resemble the displayed list. To find the DTS profiles that have configuration issues that cause IBA and CBA problems, search the list for the following items. If the soldier is a card holder, the travel card holder column should say yes. If they do not, then it should indicate this by showing a no. Travel card holders should have this field coded as card holder. This drives DTS to use the IBA for flight billing. Non-travel card holders should have Advance Authorized selected. This will allow DTS to give advances when correctly requested. If the soldier is a card holder, the mandatory use of the travel card column should say non-exempt. If they do not have a travel card, then it should indicate this by saying exempt. Next slide. To find profiles that are missing bank account information, use the Account Info Report. This is filtered to find travelers with blank account information in their profile. The ODTAs compile a list of any travelers that have blank checking or savings account information. Then provide the list to unit commanders. Only travelers and the G8 can add account information to their profile. Next slide. Next slide. Here's how you update DTS profiles to match travel card Citibank data. Obtain the IBA account listing with email report from the travel card manager. They can pull reports through the Citibank system, so the ODTAs must work hand in hand with the card managers throughout this process. This report will show current travel card holders, card number information, expiration dates, credit limits, and available funding. This information should be synchronized with the DTS Traveler's profile. If they have a card, it is required by regulation to be posted in DTS. Next slide. The third report is the IBA account listing with email. Next slide. This is an example of the Citibank IBA account listing with email address report. It's used to update email addresses and government travel card information in DTS. Next slide. To receive new travelers into the unit's DTS organization, compare travelers listed on the Basic Traveler Info Report to those on the ITAR's Alpha roster. Every soldier assigned to the unit must show on the Basic Traveler Report. If a soldier does not appear on the report, coordinate to receive their existing profile into the unit's organization. If they don't have a profile, the ODTA can work with the soldier to build one. ODTAs must thoroughly check for existing profiles to prevent any unnecessary duplicate profiles. Next slide. To detach travelers no longer assigned to the unit, compare travelers listed on the Basic Traveler Info Report to those on the ITARS Alpha roster. If there are travelers that do not appear on the ITARS Alpha roster, detach travelers from DTS. Only detach after cleanup actions have been completed. This is extremely important. Ensure travelers have no unsubmitted vouchers or pending DTS documents. Next slide. Prepare database scrub action item lists for distribution to unit commanders and first sergeants. The list of action items the ODTA prepares should include 1. List of travelers whose travel card is not loaded into their DTS profile. 2. List of travelers whose travel card expired or expires in the next three months. Three, list of travelers who need to apply for a travel card through the unit. Four, list of travelers who have missing bank account information. Five, list of travelers who have a non-governmental email account in their DTS profile. 
The lists are provided to the unit commanders and first line leaders for action during battle assembly weekend. Next slide. After identifying incorrect settings and or expired information, follow screenshots one through three until you get to people in the DTA maintenance tool. Select include suborganization, type in social security number and or last name and first name. Click search. Next slide. When profile is located, select update. Next slide. Below organization name is where you will update the email field. Next slide. This section of the DTS profile determines how DTS processes centrally build versus individually build accounts when creating a DTS authorization. On the left is the setup for a traveler card holder. If you select no, DTS will use the centrally build account for flight billing. The centrally build account is only used for those without a travel card. On the right is a non-travel card holder. If you don't select Advanced Authorized, the traveler cannot use DTS to get an advance. This should only be used for non-travel card holders. Next slide. Updating bank account information. If no is selected, the soldier is mailed a check from DFAS for any reimbursement owed to them. There are very few situations where the soldier isn't signed up for direct deposit. That being said, ensure any no entry is correct. Next slide. Thank you for listening. If you have any unanswered questions from the slides, please contact your battalion or brigade ODTAs or approving officials. You may also contact Mr. Gonzalez from the 807th Medical Command, G8, at 801-656-4089.